What's up guys, so today I'm going to be talking about um, people who hate you for just being you. Now this seems very simple and very common if you look at celebrities and so forth. There's, there's all, there, you're always going to draw hate and even if you look at YouTube videos, anything that has over like 100,000 views, there's always going to be a small percentage of people with the uh, dislikes. and. My reasoning is that this is, this just has to do with how humans are. There's always going to be variation and that variation actually causes uh, greater survivability as a species because um, like I, I guess the best pop culture example would be the movie I Am Legend where 99% of the human race was wiped out but that 1% had some sort of um, resistance to the disease. I mean you see it in real life too. People with um, pe some people in Africa are born with resistance to HIV. Uh, they can't be inf they can't be uh, hurt by HIV as a as a uh, STD, and so um, <clears throat> I think that's may that may be the case. It's just maybe some sort of genetic thing that people were born with or you know s grow up into where they they're just by nature different from the crowd. And that's why that they choose to dislike something that most people like. They go away from the crowd. It's a it, it's very understandably a um, genetic thing that has to happen. Like not a hundred percent of people are going to agree and like some someone. In fact, it would be kind of ludicrous for that to happen because that sort of um, that sort of blind love for something can cause effects even if it's logical in every sense of the word like something as simple as one plus one equals two guarantee you there are people in this world who disagree with that and sometimes those sticklers or those people who who go against the crowd end up winning out in the wrong run in fact it happens a lot of times but then again you sometimes you get those haters that just make no logical sense and can we really ascribe this 100% to just genetics, something completely out of their control, or is it partially their fault? I mean, there are people who, a lot of people would prefer not to be hated on. I mean, let's look at it from the most peaceful mindset ever. I mean, think of the most likable person, the most peaceful person, whether it be Gandhi, I'm trying to stay away from political figures because there's always controversy like that regarding those. Obama, there's a lot of haters for Obama. Um, but even Gandhi, a lot of people are against Gandhi. And let's push aside any celebrities. Let's just look at people who are non-celebrities. Let's just think about the most nicest person you know. Being nice is probably the, one of the top traits that most people enjoy. Um, and so using that as an example or any example, you can put in anything from uh, confidence or being funny or whatever. Just think of that one person who's the most likable through every standard. And I guarantee you that they will have haters. Uh, given a large enough amount of people that this guy is exposed to. And granted, he probably doesn't care because there's so many people who like him. And so um, I think this video is more so um, regarding those people, those moments when uh, you or I have, have stumbled across someone who just doesn't like you and you don't know why. And you can't do anything about it and you're in one of those situations where it's tough for you because you don't have as many people who like you uh, to the point where you don't care because there are a lot of people out there who have just so many people that like them and they're so popular they really don't care about the haters at all um, or they're just genetically inclined to not give a crap what others think however um, many other people like me are just naturally cursed with that gene, you could say, or maybe it was just your upbringing that has sort of brought you to a state where you sort of do care, whether it's because you don't have that many people um, 
to like you to off balance that or whatever reason. And I just want to very briefly, and I say very briefly because there's a lot of instances where this has occurred and I, I don't want to spend an hour talking about each one. But there have been many instances um, once as a senior in high school, I, I remember it. Um, and um, once as a sophomore and junior in college. And those are the two big ones that stick out right now. There have been more um, that have occurred. Um, but these are the big ones that have occurred like in real life with real people. Um, I've actually uploaded a couple videos where I have just been um, playing around on Omegly, which is like a uh, chat roulette video system. And if you've seen those videos, like, yeah, for me especially, it's it's tough because you get haters. But those are haters online who are like f off on a different like place. Um, I, I've gotten those in person before. And so for those online, I mean, some of the times I've sort of learned that they're, they don't really mean it. Um, sometimes they do. Um, but... I really want to just talk about the ones in person. Um, and I feel like everyone gets this. It's just a matter of a draw. Like even if you are really likable, um, you're going to get this. And I mean, I feel like for a lot of people, even those popular girl types who have lots of friends and so forth, some, some of the times even they are affected by this um, for whatever reason, because we are all human. And they run into people, especially when you have you are so popular, you get a larger sample space and you're bound to run into someone who doesn't like you. And for whatever reason, it airs on you or it drags you down. Um, and so very briefly, um, these two instances, there have been more, but these are the two that pop into mind. The first one um, was when I was young and I, I was really shocked because, I mean, he literally told me, I hate you. And he kept saying it and I kept asking him why, why? He just said, I, just because. And looking back, I mean, I was really hurt at the time, but looking back, I'm sure it has something to do with his upbringing. I don't think he meant it, meant it. I think it was just, um, he was lashing out at some other problems in his life and he was just bringing it up. And I was just very confused as to why and I kept bringing it out. And doesn't. It, it was never really explained. Um, but looking back at the time it was different, but looking back, I'm sure he was just like saying it because there was some I'm guessing from it. It was something regarding his parents. He he's mentioned nothing regarding his parents But I felt I definitely felt like it was some sort of backlash for something else He was just saying it to cause further pain because of whatever pain he was feeling um, and then another instance that this occurred was um in college as I mentioned and um, this came out of the blue randomly like um, I was in choir uh, these two people were in choir I was friends with one of them he introduced me to the other one and um, it was out of the blue like I just uh, started talking to him one day and I noticed very very uh, horrible body language from him like extreme dislike and I was just like okay whatever and then like a few weeks later, um, I talked to him again and I, it's always like, I'm always unsure about this cause I'm not, I'm really bad with body language. So I pressed further. I was like, Hey, can you help me out with this tuxedo? Cause we were doing a concert and I was like, can you help me, um, put this on? Cause I thought he was like a friend, right? Um, he was one of my friend's friend. And so, um, basically, uh, long story short, like he gave me very bad by by language. He was just like, later, later. And then he finally helped me with it. And he, he was just like, yeah, just do that. And he really didn't help me. And then I bumped into him a few times the year later. And he was this large fellow. And when I said hi, he would just give me like the most disgusted look ever. Well, not, not really disgusted at all. It was more like... um. He was just like, he just furrowed up like, hi. Like that. Um, and it was very, very strange. And I 
like after a point I was like there's something up for sure but I rarely saw him again and I just made up my mind you know what I'm I think I get the message now and I'm gonna move on and so um, I think that's the best thing to do like if they're not harassing you then it's just you just move on like what else can you do why waste your time complaining or whining or being depressed about it um, but there were moments where I was just like why why and I'm like scouring my brain about it and I can't think of a reason and there are these minor reasons but they don't make sense to me and there, there are instances where this occurred in fact it occurred uh, once again this year with a different person um, and it doesn't occur with everyone and oftentimes I feel like when you focus on this person you you always forget all the people where you where this didn't happen with uh, for me it's not I mean that's the whole thing though it's it's hard to do that when you don't have all these people loving you um, but you don't need that and so this is just a video to encourage you guys because I'm sure one time or another in life you're gonna run into some guy who just doesn't like you for me there's obviously the obvious things like uh, they're just stupid or they're racist or they they just don't like you because of your ethnicity or how you look or so forth and these are very shallow things that um, have been demonstrated uh, by my videos on Omegly where I just you know uh, pop onto the screen uh, on a random um, uh, chat roulette server thing and sometimes it's it's just shallow they don't really mean it sometimes they mean it but um, it's on a very shallow level um, and you'll run into these but in real life I feel like it's it's more just this unknown thing where you just get this these haters and um, I mean I've always pondered like what should I ever go up to them and figure out what's going on um, and my my personal opinion on this and advice is that um, that's a very risky thing to do. I would say sometimes it's better because sometimes you'll never know and, or maybe you can fix it. Um, or maybe you'll find out or it was just a big misunderstanding or they, and it didn't like you for whatever reason. Um, but on the other hand, you can like provoke something like especially if you do it in person, you can provoke something where they... Um, they don't really ever tell you, but they just get even more and more flustered and angry and some sort of fight breaks out where you're like, why? Why do you hate me? And they're just like really flustered and they hate you even more. And it's just a big thing. So my opinion is just move on, forget about it. Move on with your life. Um, and if you're really curious and it's just killing you, I would just lightly approach them and explain it to them and, and ask and if they're being a hassler like what happened to me in high school where they did they he literally did not explain at all you're just like I I hate you um, then you just got to move on personally um, it happens to me on rare occasions and it just boggles my mind sometimes sometimes it's just like maybe it was because I was just really awkward socially and he just didn't like that um, and other times I mean it's really like really stupid and that's all there is to it I don't want to talk about this anymore I want to move on I don't want to think about this anymore and I think you guys should do the same and that's the whole point of this video move on and I hope you guys can figure that out I'll see you guys later